For Friday, August 15th, this is your Weekend Review. This week's biggest release is also one of the most anticipated movies of the summer. It's the Ben Stiller directed action comedy Tropic Thunder. Something happening here. What is Oh, come on, man. Don't you die on me, Foley! <laughs> sorry, can we cut? Can we cut? What is going on here? Tropic Thunder is a satirical look at Hollywood through the creation of a fictional war movie of the same name. The film is already weeks behind schedule and millions of dollars over budget, mostly due to the film's demanding and hard to work with stars, here played by Ben Stiller, Jack Black, and Robert Downey Jr. in an already famous role as an award-winning actor who dyes his skin in order to play the part of a black soldier. The film's director, played by Steve Coogan, finally decides that he's had enough. He leaves the cast in the middle of the jungle when they're soon attacked by Vietnamese militants who the actors assume are still part of the film. The movie's already getting rave reviews. Lisa Schwartzbaum of Entertainment Weekly says that the film is raunchy, outspoken, and also a smart and agile dissection of art, fame, and the chutzpah of big budget productions. Salon.com's Stephanie Zacharek says Tropic Thunder is ridiculously and, in and deeply enjoyable, but it also flashes a mercilessly polished mirror to the prestige products that the movie industry so glibly feeds to us in order to reflect glory back on itself. Peter Hart Hartlob of the San Francisco Chronicle praises the film for its originality, saying that it combines elements of There's Something About Mary, The Player, and Team America, and yet there's almost nothing in Tropic Thunder that is predictable or cliched. However, some critics also feel that the film doesn't quite get the satire angle quite right. Robert Wolonski of The Village Voice says that when it isn't tossing softballs at the studios, Tropic Thunder is the very thing that it parodies, a wall of noise engulfed in flame. However, critics still agree that Tropic Thunder is definitely one worth seeing. At the time of this recording, the movie has an 84% freshness rating at RottenTomatoes.com. Tropic Thunder. To go lots of trying just to get up that here. No, we up in the big league. That's the theme song for the Jefferson. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You out of your mind. What? You really need help. Man, just because the theme song don't make it not true. This week's next big release is the first animated entry in George Lucas's legendary series, Star Wars The Clone Wars. Star Wars The Clone Wars is a computer-generated retelling of Jenny Tartakovsky's Emmy Award-winning 2003 series The Clone Wars. The film takes place between Episode 2 and Episode 3 of the Star Wars saga, explaining the three-year gap between the two films. However, whereas the 2003 Cartoon Network series was widely praised by critics, this outing of the series isn't as lucky. Chris Farnsworth of E! Online comments that a long, long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, there was a movie that ignited imaginations and redefined adventure. It's kind of sad that this generation only gets a retread. Variety's Todd McCarthy says that this isn't the Star Wars we've always known and at least sometimes loved. Even the most positive reviews for the film are rather backhanded. Kerry Lingle of the Arizona Republic writes, if you're willing to regress to the mental age of a 12-year-old for a couple hours, it's an amusing ride. As of this recording, Star Wars The Clone Wars holds only a 20% refreshness rating at RottenTomatoes.com.
This week's final release is Mirrors, a horror film starring Kiefer Sutherland and Paula Patton, brought to us by the same director who did the recent mutant horror remake of The Hills Have Eyes. Unfortunately, the film was not available for early review, which is never a good sign. Okay. That fact, paired with the trailers and early footage, can leave, lead me to confidently say that you might want to avoid this one this weekend. This has been the RobotPanic.com Weekend Review. 